Hi, this is Gabriela Ortiz for the Stata YouTube channel. I'd like to introduce you to the new HeroProbit command in Stata 16. HeroProbit fits an ordinal probit regression model with multiplicative heteroscedastic errors. This command generalizes ordinal probit regression by incorporating a variance model with its own set of predictor variables. These may include variables that are included in the model for the latent variable mean and variables that are not. To demonstrate, I have loaded an extract from the American Time Use Survey, the Eat Health 15 dataset. But to keep things simple, I will not take the survey design into account. I'd like to fit a model for the self-rating of physical health as a function of an individual's age, body mass index, and whether or not they exercise in the week prior to the survey. Note that health ranges from 1 for poor to 5 for excellent. To fit this model, I can go to Statistics, Ordinal Outcomes, and Heteroscedastic Ordered Probit Regression. Here I'll specify the outcome variable, which is health, and the independent variables age, BMI, and exercise. Age and BMI are continuous, so I'll go ahead and check this box to treat them as continuous. And last, I'll add exercise, which is an indicator variable. So I can click OK. Now I suspect that the variation in health status is greater in an older population as compared with a youthful population, and I believe that health variability may differ between those who exercise and those who do not. So I can use heteroprobit to model the variance as a function of these variables by simply specifying them here in the variance model. So I'll go ahead and add age and exercise. And I can click OK once more to fit this model. Now I see three tables here in the output. First, I see the effect of independent variables on health status. Then I see the output for the variance model under ln sigma. And last I see the cut points for the unobserved latent variable. And down here in the bottom I also see a test of homogeneity of the variance. Next I'd like to use the margins command to compute the expected probability of having excellent health for the 30 to 70 age range. So I can go to statistics, post estimation, and I'll select marginal effects, marginal means, and predictive margins. Next I'll click on custom analysis and for the prediction I'll specify the fifth outcome and click OK. Next I'll add the age range. So I'll simply specify the covariate age and specify the age range 30 to 70 in increments of 10 and click OK. And now I see how the probability of rating one's health as excellent decreases with each decade. And I can visualize this relationship between age and the expected probability of rating one's health as excellent by simply typing margins plot. There are a lot of other interesting things you can do with margins after fitting a model with heteroprobit. For example, I obtained population average expected probabilities, but you can also obtain expected probabilities for subpopulations or individuals, and you might explore the relationship between covariates and the error variance. I mentioned before that this was data from a complex survey, and I didn't take that into account in the model I fit. But you can use heteroprobit to fit models with complex survey data by specifying the SVY prefix. You can also use robust, cluster robust, bootstrap, and jackknife standard errors. And you may even choose to fit a Bayesian heteroscedastic ordered probit regression model. If you would like to learn more about the new heteroprobit command in Stata 16, you can download the manual from our website at stata.com. Thank you for watching.